I already used to uh, bring my dogs uh, to class very frequently. And my dogs are my emotional support animals. I noticed that my students were a lot happier and focused when uh, the dogs were in class. So during the pandemic, we were teaching on Zoom and I thought, when we can be in person again, I would like to bring the students to also work with horses. So Eagle was born. I created Eagle Equine Guided Learning and Healing Experience also as a response to the mental crisis that was uh, made very apparent uh, because of the pandemic. I have a physical disability, I was diagnosed at around age six or seven, so a uh, doctor told my parents that I would never be allowed to ride horses. I do it anyway. <laughs> Um, and uh, Eagle is not uh, necessarily a ridden program. Most of the work is on the ground. But I also do not assume that everybody is physically able to ride, or also we should not assume that because there is a horse around, then we are allowed or supposed to ride them. In particular, for Jimmy, he's still a young thoroughbred. He needs the exercise, so he needs to be physically and mentally able to be part of the program and so I ride him to make him better for the program because that kind of exercise is really good for his brain. He's not an easy horse in many ways and so I was looking for something that he would love doing and he loves people, so uh, Ego was great, both for my students and the horse. One of the um, exercises that we do with students when Jimmy decides it's a good time, we match steps with him and we try to mirror exactly with our feet, his front feet, whatever he's doing with his front feet, even to the level of the minimal changes and shifts in balance. We're signaling that we understand some of their herd dynamics and we want to be part of their group. Jimmy, the director, he is very, very much into humans. He's very people oriented and he enjoys the attention. So I noticed that for him also, the day after a session, he's very happy and relaxed, whereas he can be somebody, somebody, a horse who um, can be nervous or worried. So when Dr. Renovini took me to go see Jimmy, I was really excited because I've never had a professor understand the importance of having animals around and the effect that it, the positive effect it has on your mental health. Because I've grown up with dogs, cats, chickens in my family, and now that I'm at school and I can't have any animals at school, I I can feel a difference in my personality and. I don't have a dog or a cat or anything to come and greet me. So when I got to see Jimmy, it was my first time actually meeting a horse and actually getting to pet a horse. That wasn't, that was a full grown horse and not like a pony. And the fact that I had to like gain trust with him and have him accept me, it helped me center myself and calm myself and figure out my own anxieties because I did not want him to experience my anxieties because then I wouldn't bond with him. So just that, it was one day experience, but just getting to see the horse, Jimmy, and bonding with an animal I've never met before and learning how to calm myself in a situation like that, it was just a really nice experience and I would love to do it more. Once we were able to walk with him, I didn't feel anxious anymore. I felt pretty calm and kind of immediately contemplative. So when we would walk with Jimmy, we'd try and step in place with him, try and get in a rhythm with him. And then gradually we would get closer and closer to him until we were able to, I mean, put our arm over him. I really liked how it was kind of led by Jimmy. Um, Amanda talked about that a lot, as in um, she kind of let him come to us and uh, we were led around the ranch by him. and. It was nice to see how he observed his surroundings and uh, kind of reminded us to like take stock of the environment and where we were. And it was honestly really lovely and like really great to relieve the stress, um, kind of 
just experience the animals and bond with the class. That focus on the alternating steps may have similar benefits to bilateral stimulation that is used in methods such as EMDR in trauma therapy. This is an open question, it has not been studied, it's more like an intuition. It could be part of, you know, why students then say that they feel more relaxed and focused. Eagle is different from many other programs. We don't charge anything, it's all offered for free. So I donate this program to the students because as an educator, I really feel is something good to have there besides, you know, the knowledge that I share in class in, in my courses. My attention also is not only on helping students feel better and have a sense of community with a group of students who come to have this experience, but also I want to give something to the world of non-humans, so for equines in general. I try to uh, lead the students gently to reflect on the fact that animals also enjoy being understood, having their agency, and then especially horses can be so communicative, so empathic, and also have the emotional intelligence to make good choices. So in this sense, First of all, I am uh, helping students shift from an anthropocentric view that everything has to be done for the human, that the humans are, you know, in charge or are higher in the hierarchy. Many students actually come to this program very excited, but they also say, oh, I've never seen a horse in my life, or yeah, I touched a pony once when I was 10. So it's incredible also how much we as a society have removed ourselves from equines who used to be so central. And so I would like also to maybe repair that divide a little bit with this program.